Assalamu alaikum everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about some NAST entry test past paper sample questions, which are related to the topic conics. So let's get started. All right, so I have shared some of the questions. You guys would be able to see those in a bit. Um, the first question which I shortlisted for this video says, which one is not the equation of a circle? Now, since circles in this uh, video, so I would like to tell you the general form of the equation square and then y minus k square equals r square where the radius of the circle is r and the center has coordinates h and k. Now this is the standard form of writing the equation of any circle. So yes a b c d uh, a b and d not c c looks like um, the standard form, the only difference is that instead of 7 squared, they have written 49. But A, B, D could also be correct. We can also make it look like the standard form by completing square method and all that. But we are not going to spend that much time on this, okay? If I talk about option A, it can certainly be made and it can, um, it would be, you know, it can be modified such that it would look like the equation of a circle of this type. So obviously, A is not the answer because we are looking for not. So A is not the answer. If I talk about B, again, 2G and 2F are looking a bit different, but we can think about them as some random constants. So that would be an equation of circle as well. So this is not the answer. If I talk about C, it certainly is. This is not the answer. We're looking for not. And obviously, it means that D would be the answer, but let's see. Now, if I talk about D, the thing is that I have y square minus 2xy plus 2fy. This is basically the problem. I A separate square for that, the answer is going to be D. All right. Like this question was very easy since I'm explained. So you have to be careful about the wordings that are being used in the question if it's telling you not. Be very careful with that. Okay. Then if I talk about the fourth question uh, or maybe the next question, it says the circumcenter of right angle triangle. Now by circumcenter, they mean, let's say I have a triangle in one and let's say this a bit. Okay. Now midpoints of all these lines. In fact, particular bisectors of all these sides. Okay. So this then let me just extend this somewhere here. Then this would be the line that is bisecting that side. And again, if I may, so I need that point, which is basically an intersection of three lines, right? So that is the circum center. Now, in case of a right angle triangle, this is a property that the circum center of a right angle triangle would be the midpoint of the hypotenuse. Let's just see. If we are able to, this is one side, then this is the other one. And then this is the longest side of the triangle that is the perpendicular bisectors. Then I am going to make the second perpendicular bisector. So that, and if I make the perpendicular bisector of the third side, so that is going to bisect the, now, yes, obviously, it is not exactly the, but if I make this diagram using scales, I would have gotten this point as the midpoint of the hypotenuse. So that is why the answer is C. So it says equation of a circle with center at origin and radius three is, now obviously we are talking about radius three, so that would be three square. So it looks like A, because here the only problem is we only have three. This should have been three square. If I talk about C, the thing is that when I will take y square in case of a circle, we have a plus sign. So that is why the answer is A. Okay, let's talk about the fourth and fifth ones. Let's just talk about the sixth one directly. Okay, 
So it says the with equation this is now, as I told you earlier as well, if you we talk about general form of a circle, it is x minus h square plus y minus k square h and k are the coordinates of the center. So I told you earlier as well, that type, we can modify any equation and make it look like that one by completing square, right? So in this question, we need to complete square and that is going to help us with the answer. But obviously, all these steps and all that. I have 2x here. I know that in order to complete, so that would make it x plus 1 square. And if I talk about y, I have y here. So the half of y is 1 by 2. This means that it would be y plus 1 by 2 square. And the center is going to be minus 1 and minus 1 by 2 because in the general form, we have x minus h. So this means that the answer is going to be C. Now, this example was very easy, but the learning point here is that we are not going to spend time on extra things. Okay, let's talk about the 13th question, which is not the equation of circle, which touches both the excess and is of radius 13. Now, all these uh, equations are of circles with radius 13 because 13 square is 169. So that is good. I'll, this is positive 13. This is negative 13. That's it's negative 13. So for point A, it looks like then for the second one, it is 13 and minus 13. So it would be somewhere here. And then for the fourth, obviously, I know that the radius is 13. So this length is 13 already. And if the radius is 13, so my circle would be something of that type. So all these circles would basically touch both the x's. That is, they would touch both the x-axis and the y-axis and the radius is 13. So the answer is not. All right. Let's see eighth question. So it says, the midpoint of the chord cut off from the circle x plus y equals 3 by the circle x square plus y square equals 9s. Now, we are talking about the midpoint of the chord from the line this by the circle this. Okay, let's just make it and I'll take so if I make the center is 0 and radius is 3 minus 3 positive 3 and the negative 3 and then this be coming downwards let's just make that it is going to be of this so it would be cutting the y-axis at 13 so it would be something of this type approximately this point type so these this coordinates first and then you'll see why I need to make it again okay so this point has the coordinates 0 and 3 and for zero so x would be clear that is correct and zero okay now that's very simple and so i can use the midpoint formula that would be three plus zero by two that is going to give me d as the choice right? easy okay let's talk about the ninth question so it says which point lies inside the circle x square 2x square plus 2y square plus 3x plus 4y minus 1 equals 0. Now obviously this is maths. You can think about any question with multiple of ways but obviously we are not going to waste time in doing all that okay. Let's just start our working by writing it down again. So it is 2x square Let's just plug in this point that is minus one minus plus two into minus two square two minus three into minus one and then four into minus part. And I'll write down one directly and this as well. So we have we square it, then yeah, that would become four, then three into minus one, then four into minus two and minus one. This is two plus eight minus three minus 8 minus 1. Now minus 8 and 8 is cancelled 
and we would get minus 2 that is certainly less than 0. And this is what I wanted. This means that the answer is A. Why is A the answer? Because when I have plugged in these points, these coordinates in this circle, I am getting the value less than 0. This means that this point lies inside the circle. For example, if you have the equation of any circle, whenever you will be asked for, let's say this, x square plus y square less than r square, you'll think of take this r square to that side as well. And even then, when I have everything on this side, the values of the coordinates that are inside the swing. If we talk about b, this would have been about c, this would have been either 0 or greater than 0. We're not sure about that, right? But the answer is A. Okay. Let's talk about the 11th question. So it says the number of tangents drawn to a circle from a point outside the circle is Okay. Now let's say this is a, I can make like the tangent just so yeah in this case it is looking like the tangent now obviously if i make another one something of this type and yeah this type obviously i'm just using rough hand that is why it's it, it happens but if i was using a proper circle stuff like that so yeah you guys would be seeing this that in this case obviously we are only able to make two tangents especially when we're searching from one point right that is the idea this is why i wanted to show this through the diagram of two tangents let's talk about the 15th question now it says 3x cube minus 7xy square plus 19y cube is equal to zero is an equation of all right a degree one, degree two, degree three, obviously we see that the highest power, right. Let's talk about the S of the circle, 13x square plus 13y square minus 52x plus 39y is what? Okay, now for this question, we need to understand one thing that I will make the 52x plus 13 y square 39y equals 0 out and this would give me x square minus y square plus 3y equals 0. So I'll divide 13 on the other side and that is going to give me this only. So think about it this way. This is what we have. Okay. Now we need to complete square in order to find the radius and all that. Okay. So it's going to be x square minus square y square plus 2 whole square, whole square equal to Think about these because I would be taking them to the other side and that would give me 2 square plus 3 by 2 square. That would be 4 plus 9 by 4. And finally, when I would solve this, I am going to get... Let me just do it here. Plus 9. And that is 25 over 5. But 25 over 5 is not the answer. We need to, that is why D is the answer. Because for radius and in general form of a circle, we know that we have R square on the other side. The first question. So it says... The coordinates of, of this, obviously, you can do it through multiple ways. Either you can just, obviously, if you will plot it, you would not be able to plot it properly. Yes, you might get a rough, a rough idea, but let's see it through both ways, right? Let's just do it. So if I make the circle, it would be of this type and the radius is 5. And if I make this line, it would be coming downwards. Y equals minus 3x plus 5. And when y is 0, it would be 5 by 3. 
So yeah, it would be something of this type. Okay, now this means that one of the points of intersection. This is five, zero and five. And this is going to, okay. Now all these are clearly the point in wasting. Then I plug in that value over here. There's no point in wasting your time. Just make the diagrams just get better. As you are okay with it, you would be able to solve these questions very, very soon. So it says, the number of constants in equation this is, now we are talking about constants. Okay, so obviously, uh, if I talk about it generally, so I would, I have G, this is also a constant as the equation of a circle and this G and C, they are also constant. So G is going to be C. Okay, so let's talk about of the center is there. Now we need to think about the coordinate. So we have, we have X, we can do it this way. There's no point in, you know, just completing school. Now I have two Q means I would add the square of Q cos theta and I would add the square of Q sine theta just to complete square. And this is what I would subtract as well. Now, obviously this is going to be like plus two, two square and then cos square theta as its maths. You can leave. as x cos theta whole square y theta square common cos and then plus b zero so the answer is either b or it is d and then this is going to tell me that the because we have plus is going to be b all right so let's talk about the last question now it says this is this and these things let's just write the air square plus b square under root would be cancelled with the square and then I would have a square minus 2ax plus a square plus y square minus 2by plus b square equals a square plus b square, this, this, and these three are cancelled. So this means that the answer is going to be b. Right. So yeah, that is how we solve these questions, which are from conic section. And this is extremely important. When you would solve past papers, you yourself would see that there are many questions that are coming from this topic directly. Questions which we have to solve. All right, so that is it from my side. I'll stop the meeting.